In this video, I am going to be talking about STD stack in C++, which is a STL container adapter. Uh, it is a, by container adapter, it means a, a container is adapted for this particular uses or adapted with a specific interface or more specifically for using it as a data stacked data structure. It is built on the top of one of the sequential containers, vector list, DQ, etc. While sitting on the top of the underlying sequential container, stack container ad adapter makes available only desired functionalities of the underlying container and it also adds its own functionality. A stack uh, is uh, last in first out data structure. This means uh, the element most recently inserted into a stack is the one that comes out of it first through its command called pop. By default, um, it is uh, built on the top of DQ data structure, STD DQ data structure or sequential container. Uh, however, we can create a queue with uh, the other underlying sequential containers such as uh, vector list, forward list and DQ. As a matter of fact, only vector list and DQ have functions that support all the operations of stack. Let me jump into coding space. So, um, vector list and these uh, three containers support the functions that are required to operate. Uh, the stack effectively. So to create a stack object, you need to include library called stack. And uh, you can create a stack object using the regular syntax, the sy syntax you, 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 would, you would use to create a vector container object or uh, some uh, list container object as uh, namespace followed by scope resolution operator followed by the name of the class and the type you want to uh, instantiate it for and the name in user stack now the functions available with the stack w would be you know these are very generic uh, the functions that are that are, that are available um, with the start stack structure whether you use in c++ in other data structure i mean in other languages and java and other languages mt is uh, the common function function that is uh, available with the stack size is another function and push is uh, the function for pushing data into it pop is a function for removing the data and uh, it also supports uh, copy constructor uh, copy assignment move constructor and move assignment So let me populate this uh, this uh, stack object we created, STI, uh, with some data in it. Initially, uh, I would like to display the information about this uh, object by calling a function called print. So I need to create uh, that function as a let me create this as a template function. container and uh, if it is uh, empty then display the message empty stack and uh, and just written it we don't we don't want to continue otherwise uh, you can uh, 
I don't want to use uh, the I can use the same instead okay let me use the same instead. while CTR is uh, empty uh, while not empty then I can continue accessing data from the top and display it and then remove that data and extend after that so this is uh, the way I have put this uh, if it is empty it will display the message empty stack otherwise it will display the data from the top and actually make it empty as all the data all the data is accessed so this uh, statement should actually uh, display the empty stack because it was created by invoking default constructor let me see let me, uh, let me see and make sure that it actually displays that message mm, I think there is some syntactic problem WSILE Let me see it again. I think there is also typo issue here. EMPTI. So now it displayed uh, the message that is expected in this stack. So now we can um, actually add some things into it. I want to um, add a data into one integer into it. Push. There's a 25. And I print this stack and I actually push 30 35 40 etc and I actually yeah and then print after that right so we can see the data we will no longer see this message uh, for the new printed statement it was 25 was pushed and then after that 30 35 40 was pushed and when it was popped back the last item pushed was actually taken out and it was displayed 40 was just taken out and displayed first and it was popped out and then 35 was uh, that accessed and displayed and it was popped out 30 was accessed and displayed and popped out and finally 24 was uh, accessed and displayed and it was popped out then finally the stack actually was left empty actually stack was left empty not in this place but it was uh, left empty empty in this place because uh, this is a copy of the stack uh, object that was actually accessed here So now uh, you can also use uh, other sequential containers to create uh, this stack uh, vector list dq. So the way of doing that is uh, just um, specify that container here. By default, it is dq, right? Like this, and. Uh, so it will actually use the same I mean this is uh, the default um, type therefore it will do the same thing 
and if you want to use uh, the different online container so you can specify maybe as a vector and uh, run the code again same code so So the problem here was uh, I did not include the library uh, that will allow access to the vector, right? So you need to include vector if you want to use that library. Now let me compile it again. So now there's no issue. So now it was uh, it displayed the same thing, but uh, underline is I mean uh, I mean sequential container used uh, to create the stack was a vector in this case, and we could also uh, create a use the underlying container list as underlying container, right? So for that, include. list and uh, compile again so now it's working without uh, problem now if we try to use forward list it's going to be a problem because forward list does not support uh, the some of the functions that are used particularly pop and even push function the function for inserting that data in, in the for list doesn't support so if I use I change this to for list it will run into in a problem so I actually explained uh, the stack how to create it uh, so thank you for watching uh, this is the end of this video